Welcome to the Digital Literacy Tutorials by Vision Empower. These tutorials are specifically designed for the visually impaired. Here, you will master all the skills that you will need to thrive in today's digital world. I am Vidya Bai and I am excited to share the latest innovations in this space with you. Let's dive in and enjoy this learning journey together. In the previous episodes, we have learnt what is Be My AI. We've also learnt where to use Be My AI, and we've understood in detail how to take better pictures to get better descriptions. We've also seen in the previous episode how to take pictures using Be My AI, but it was theoretical. And in this episode, finally, we are going to understand. How to use Be My AI with Talkback. Now, if you remember, in the previous episode, we had seen that there are two ways of having Be My AI describe the images for us. The first way is to take pictures directly, and the second way is to use the share feature. So, in this episode, we will be focusing on the first method which is to take pictures directly. Before you even listen to the episode fully, please check out how to take better pictures so that you can get better descriptions. Now that everything was explained in detail in the previous episode, let's directly jump into the demo. So first, I will open Be My Eyes and show you the interface and also show you where you will find the button to take a picture. And then I'm going to take picture of what is outside my window. I really don't know. So let's see what Be My AI tells us. One plus unlabeled. Ask Be My Android. Android. Be My Eyes. Two or three. Be my eye. Be my eyes. Be my eyes. Okay, finally I am in Be My Eyes. So let's see the interface. This is how the interface looks like. I'm going to use right swipe and show you what all controls are there. Be my eyes. It says be my eyes. Call a volunteer button. It's call a volunteer. My groups button. My groups. Selected home tab one of five in list five items. This is the home and if you have heard carefully, it says selected home. So this you have to hear carefully so that when we select the next tab, if you hear selected, that means that tab is selected. So I'll show you again. I'll use left swipe once and then right swipe. My groups selected home tab one of five in list five items so it says selected home tab so now let's see what all are there be my ai tab two or five this is the be my ai this is what we need to select service directory tab three or five this service directory community tab four or five community settings tab five or five settings that's all so if i'm right swiping there's nothing so all of these we don't need uh, you can check out earlier episodes of Be My Eyes, not Be My AI, Be My Eyes, which we already have to find out more details on all of these. We have it in our channel, so you can check it out. I'm using left swipe and going to the Be My AI tab and selecting it, which means I'm double tapping on it. And this is where we can take pictures. Community service direct Be My AI tab to a five be my ai so i'm selecting it be my ai selected be my ai selected be my ai so i'm right swiping now service directory tab three or five community set so all of these we don't need so i'm again right swiping be my take picture be my ai so if you've heard the first control is be my ai and if I right swipe, take picture button, 
this is the take picture button and this is what we will be using home tap one of five in list five items so if i right swipe again it goes back to home which we don't need so i will left swipe take picture button out of list so take picture now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open the window and take a picture which means i'm just going to double tap on take picture so now i'll just open the window here uh so i need to put my phone straight in standing position and hold it and take a picture let's see what it's going to say okay i'm just taking a picture now home take picture button out of list 0% analyzing picture please wait progress bar okay i've taken a picture it says analyzing it depends on the internet connection if it is faster the results will be quicker i've taken a picture let's see what it says uh, while taking a picture you have to the hold your the picture shows a view from a window out be my ai okay it has analyzed what i was saying is while taking a picture you have to hold your phone steady okay now finally let's hear what be my ai has to describe the picture shows a view from a window outside there's a white building with blue vertical lines the building has several small windows in front of the building there is a covered parking area with a white car parked underneath The ground appears to be a mix of dirt and some patches of grass with a few scattered bricks and stones. There are also some palm trees visible with one prominently in the foreground. The sky is overcast suggesting it might be a cloudy day. Wow, did you hear that so much of details it has given us and it's a it has described so vivid um even if a sighted person describes it it won't be this vivid so its description is really vibrant so it has told us the, that maybe today it's a cloudy day it has told about the building that it can see and also that it has uh, you know windows it has told that there's a white car and it has also uh, you know mentioned about the plants that are there i mean what more can you ask for it has it, it has described everything and even it has described the, how the ground looks like that you know there's some dirt and everything so i'll just uh, left swipe once more and right swipe again so that you can hear it once more be my it the picture shows a view from a window outside there is a white building with blue vertical lines the building has several small windows In front of the building there is a covered parking area with a white car parked underneath. The ground appears to be a mix of dirt and some patches of grass with a few scattered bricks and stones. There are also some palm trees visible with one prominently in the foreground. The sky is overcast suggesting it might be a cloudy day. This is really good. So after this we will get various other features. what you can do with this picture so let me show you i'll right swipe take picture button now there is again take picture button if you want to take another picture i'm going to right swipe again ask more button ask more button so this is what we will be using to get more description of whatever we want now here i want to know what exactly is uh, i wanted to describe more about the trees that it's seeing so i will ask it more questions so when you're asking question as i've mentioned in the earlier episode also keep your question concise and and put it in a way that the ai tool can understand it okay now let me right swipe and then i'll come back to this home tap one of five in list five items okay it's going to home these are all the controls that we have already seen so let me left swipe once and ask it more questions ask more button out of list ask more i'm going to double tap on this 
ask more. Please wait. Bima AI is writing a message. Okay, now I'll write swipe. Ask more. Share button. There's share. You can share the description. So this we are not going to use with whomever you want on WhatsApp or uh, anywhere you want. So let's write swipe. Your message image in list. Your message image, which means whatever you have given as the input to the AI was image. That's the image which is which it is showing here. Be my AI. The picture shows a view. Call a volunteer button out of list. So be my AI and it started reading out. So when I right swipe, so that's what we heard. Once more, if I right swipe, it says call a volunteer. Now, as I already mentioned in the earlier episode that, you know, if for whatever reason you want volunteers help, you know, for example, when you're taking a medicine, so you can't rely on the AI, suppose you want help from a volunteer, then you can always use this and call. Again, I'm not going into details of how to do this because we already had Be My Eyes tutorials earlier and you can check it out on our channel, Vision Empower channel. It's on YouTube. So I'm going to right swipe. Add picture button. Add picture. Now this is where if the picture is not clear for whatever reason, then you can double tap on this. And again, as we earlier saw, you will get the take picture option and you can double tap and take another picture which we are not going to use here. You can explore it yourself. Suppose you take a picture that is not clear and be my AI says it's not clear. In that case, you can use this option and add more picture and then you can ask your follow up question. So I'm right swiping once more. Reply edit box. So here if you see, you will get a reply option. Now this reply option you will get only when you click on ask more. That means when you double tap on ask more. So reply here I'm going to type whatever I want to know more about this picture. I'm going to say describe the tree. Add reply. D A Echo W A S C A T R I V B A A K Space R T Tango H A X Space T A F R A F A A Okay, this one for E it almost pronounce it as A. So, but it's writing E here. I'm using right swipe now. R Romeo. Okay. Be my AI. The picture shows up. Now, if you right swipe, what happens is it will give you the characters on the keyboard. So, if you want to come out of this keyboard, you have to touch slightly above. So, you will come back to all the controls that we saw earlier, like add picture, ask volunteer, and so on. So, let me right swipe. Call a what? Add picture. Editing. Describe the tree. Edit box. Reply. So, as you've heard, you've heard that it said describe the tree. So, now I'm going to right swipe once more. Send message button. Send message. So, let me send this message. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Showing English India Quitty keyboard. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Be my AI. Okay. Um, now, if you've heard, I actually double tap on send i use double tap and after i did that it said please wait be my ai is writing a message that means it is replying so now i'll swipe right and see what it has said sticker keyboard be my ai the tree in the picture is a tall palm tree with a slender trunk its leaves are long and feathery extending outward in a fan like shape the leaves are green, though some of the lower leaves appear to be turning brown. The tree stands prominently in front of the white building, and its height reaches above the rough line. There is another palm tree partially visible to the left of the main tree. In list, window, ask more. It has actually given a very vivid description, and it has actually 
told us how a, how the tree looks like how tall it is and that there is another tree as well and all other details and if you have observed it has told us that you know it is like a fan so the branches are spread like a fan which means that it knows that a visually impaired person is asking these questions and it will give you the details accordingly that's why in one of the episodes i mentioned that this is the most unique feature about this app because it knows the context and it gives us the data accordingly so let's listen to this vivid description once more i'll right swipe once and left swipe again call up be my ai the tree in the picture is a tall palm tree with a slender trunk its leaves are long and feathery extending outward in a fan like shape the leaves are green though some of the lower leaves appear to be turning brown the tree stands prominently in front of the white building and its height reaches above the roof line there is another palm tree partially visible to the left of the main tree in list okay i am sure you were able to imagine and visualize how the tree looks like and uh, apologies because it said the leaves are uh, spread like fan not the branches i hope you found this episode helpful and enjoyable join me next time for more insights to enhance your productivity and make your digital journey smoother this is vidya vai signing off until we meet next time keep learning and growing see you soon